This is a video I created uh, as a follow-up on Pulse DC electricity. As you can see, this is an electrician's meter. It's measuring 240 volts. Unlike regular electricity, you wouldn't try this at home. You wouldn't want to touch both ends. And I'm getting 240 volts. But it's called cold electricity. It doesn't it has voltage, but uh, not not amps. It's voltage driven. Okay, most YouTube videos they want to demonstrate over Unity, and uh, the reason they're having trouble is because you're always pushing electricity into a circuit. Always one way, always pushing, 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 whether it be AC or DC. Uh, and it's a closed circuit. So yes, to all of those uh, that respect thermodynamics and everything, of course, you can't get more than you put in. You're right. You're definitely right. But that only pertains to a closed system. I'm going to demonstrate to you when you change the settings around, when you make an open system, you are allowing energy from the environment to come into your system. Yes, how do you expect to get more energy if your system is closed? Copper is a conductor and you always hook it up from positive to negative, negative to positive. So how can you expect to make more energy when there's resistance? You can't. It's a closed system and you're right. Thermodynamics says you can't get extra energy. You're right. So all of those that say, oh, it's impossible because of thermodynamics law, you're right. But I'm going to show you that in an open system, things change around a little bit. Here's the open system. You got an electrical cord that goes to my floor. And it's just an extension cord that I took from a vacuum cleaner nothing special and at the end it's just chopped off it's open-ended see you got your positive and your negative here this is frayed cotton but there uh, there's no connection it's just a cut piece of cord so what, what happens when you pulse DC into a closed I mean an open cord like that. Again, here's a cord. We're going to demonstrate what happens when you do that. Okay, first let's make sure that it's on. We got 19 volts going in at 2 amps. This is a converter that turns it into pulse DC. So this is what you're getting coming out of the system 240 volts pulse DC notice that the neons go all the way to 480 volts but right now it's at 240 okay let me show you what happens we'll take the uh, the black happens to be the positive at this time okay the black is the positive and as soon as we tap it into the open system, wow, guess what? Our voltage has exceeded where we started. 240 we started, now we're at 270. Okay, so what's going to happen when we, when we add this loose cable and, and complete the connection, again, to an open cable? Okay, so we're going to hook up the meter to the other end of the uh, extension cord. Remember, it's cut extension cord, so there's no closed circuit. So here's where we're at right now. Two, 270, 277. And we're going to hook it up. And let's see what happens. As you can see, we're up to 500 volts or more. And all we did was we opened up the system to allow 
basically we're allowing it to breathe in. We're pulsing out the energy, but we're allowing it to breathe in. So the energy is a lot higher activity. Now it's, and if you don't believe that, here's here's a capacitor that we're gonna charge with those 500 volts. Okay, so now we have a charged capacitor and we're gonna just use any kind of metal. This is for my last experiment, it's a transducer. See? I took too long so it dropped voltage. Anyway, let's do it again. And let's tap it again. Okay, for all you naysayers that it's not happening, it's, this is a clear demonstration that it is happening. And we are getting excess voltage above what we started with. We started at 240. The only thing we did was we added an open-ended circuit. So now, again, we're going to go in reverse order. We're going to take the circuit off. And you see the voltage has dropped simply by taking the open-ended circuit out. So for all the naysayers, yes, you're right. Thermodynamics does apply to a closed circuit. When you open it up to the environment, that's when excess energy can and will, in fact, go into your system. Okay, that's it for now.